Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Go ahead and smash the like button so you don't forget, okay? So Beyonce and Jay-Z were seen for the first time since their absence from the public eye, which sparked a lot of opinions involving a Diddy connection. <laughs> Jay-Z and Beyonce were joined by daughter Blue Ivy on a joyride through the Hamptons, New York. They were saying that both Beyonce and Jay-Z are laying low amid their disgraced pal Diddy's sexual abuse scandal, according to Page Six. Beyonce had seemingly disappeared after releasing her new album, Cowboy Carter, this past March, and she has not attended a red carpet event since the iHeartRadio Music Awards on April 1st. So they are hiding. Now they want to be seen at the Hansons. Why? I don't know. But believe me, they are scared. They are behind the scenes, pulling strings, whatever they can do, because Diddy is not going to go down by himself. No, he will not. They are holding meetings. They are using every resources that they can because I'm telling you, it's going to be so bad when people see these people for who they really are. Let me tell you, Joe Diddy, not Diddy, Jay-Z performed at the Tony Awards with Alicia Keys, right? Uh, a week and a half ago. And guess what? It was not even live. It was pre-taped. And it was done in a deceitful way. You see, Alicia Keys was live. She was there at first, right? The first part of it, she was there. And then she left the stage. That's where the deceit comes in. So it seemed like she left the stage to go outside and perform with Jay-Z, but that's not true. So when she left that stage, that was the end of the live performance. And then they put the, uh, the pre-tape uh, part of her and Jay-Z performing together like they were outside at the time, but no, it was pre-tape. So you see what I'm saying? All the things that they do, the, the, the deceit, like that for what? Like why go through all that? What I'm saying, they are working hard, but behind the scenes to keep things from coming out, but they are not God. When it's time, it's time. They can't stop anything. There's only so much that they can do. When God said it's time, it's time. No one can stop it. Nothing can stop it. Not even the billions can stop it. When God interferes and says time's up, yeah, time is up. And then that's when they realize, oh my gosh, they're not God after all. Because a lot of them, they really think they're God. They have a, a God complex. They walk around like they're so untouchable. They walk around like they can't be stopped. And I love when they get that little wake-up call like, hello. <laughs> like, you're not God after all. But I want to point something out. They like to do things in plain sight. Like when they post a picture, right? It could look like a regular simple picture and it's way more sinister than what the eyes can see you don't know where they're coming back from you don't know if they're you know where they're going you know probably something that's very you just never know i just don't like this celebrity worshiping culture if you don't know by now i am anti-celebrity worship i don't like it i can't understand how people can put people on pedestals like that where they can't do no wrong. I mean, worshiping these people like they're not human just like us. These fans will treat these celebrities better than somebody in their family. They will freaking defend these celebrities quicker than they would defend someone in their family. <laughs> they would spend their last dollar on a billionaire who don't even need it than to give it to someone like in the family that's probably struggling. It's just crazy to me. So yeah, Jay-Z and Beyonce, something is definitely going on with them. We're just going to have to stay tuned because we do know that Diddy is not going to go down solo. And also, Diddy's and Jay-Z's friendship dates back to the early 1990s. As you can see in this picture, Beyonce, Jay-Z, and Diddy, this was in 2005. And they've been hanging out way before that. So, yeah. So, it's going to be very messy. So, buckle up, you guys. It's going to be a bumpy ride, okay? <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.